Hello, this is my YouTube video for aircraft propulsion. I want to note that the jet file used in this video was downloaded from GrabCAD. The file can be uh, found from the link below. Uh, take a look at this aircraft. The fuselage is, rather, is of normal size and the intakes of the engines are very close to the fuselage from the frontal area. Uh, first we're going to look at this view. It is a cut plot of velocities. Um, free stream air is of 580 miles per hour and as the cut plot moves up from the bottom of the aircraft to the top you can see um, that the engines actually slow down the airstream down to about 580 feet per second or 400 miles an hour as a considerable drop of velocity this analysis is done at uh, simulating where the engines are off like you would see in a wind tunnel. Um, as you could take a look right there, there's the there's a top view of the velocity differences um, and this video is also going to show the difference between um, intakes and engines closer to the fuselage as well as farther apart. This is the f air streams or um, streamlines of the free stream air as you can see, the, it runs along the fuselage and slows down because of the pillars for the intakes and engines, as well as uh, showing the effects of nacelle drag. Um, as you can tell, the green is of much lower velocity than the orange that is the free stream. This is a modified version of the previous model where the engines are much further from the fuselage and we are now going to take a look at the effects of um, skin drag along the fuselage and how the velocities do not change nearly as much. This is the cut plot view moving from the bottom of the aircraft moving towards the top and as you can tell um, there's not nearly as much green as before. The green is roughly 650 feet per second or 440 miles per hour um, which is a considerable drop of nearly 120 miles an hour. Um, just taking a look at those, you can see that the furthest it really goes uh, is yellow. So that is a much, much better uh, sought after for design feature. You want to make sure that your velocities stay higher towards the intakes so they don't have to work as hard to push the air through and now we will take a look at the streamlines um, keeping them orange is ideal so there's not nearly as much green as the previous streamline videos as you can tell um, keeping the flow very fast which is ideal